Right, the Ministry of Health asked for more time to file its response in a petition challenging the implementation of the new program. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, SHIF has technically officially rolled out. Mm -hmm. And it's causing a lot of problems, as we've spoken about uh, several times this week. Hospitals have had to switch back to the old NHIF system, while others are struggling to manually process and handle patients. Mm -hmm. That's because, um, one, the integrated healthcare information technology system that was procured by the government from a Safaricom-led consortium for 104 point eight. 8 billion shillings mm -hmm. keeps failing. That's according to healthcare professionals um, at several hospitals, referral hospitals across the countries and other agencies. Mm -hmm. As that happens, the High Court will in two weeks decide whether to suspend the rollout of the SHIF, uh, that is the Social Health Insurance Fund, after the Ministry of Health asked to uh, ask for more time to file its response in a petition challenging the implementation of the new program. As we look at that, the High Court judge uh, Bahati Mamuya directed the parties in, involved uh, in, in this matter to actually file their responses even as the Convergence Network uh, Solutions Limited defended its role in the implementation of the program you know i am smiling about uh that uh, convergence network solutions mm -hmm. it involves a little bit of more hands than usual and of course through senior counsel kiyoko kilukumi the ministry said it will uh, it was yet to file the response in a case filed by busia senator okiom tata together with elud karanja matindi and dr magare gikenyi